When a patient's referred to me for a new diagnosis of lung cancer, our typical approach is to first define the situation from a cancer standpoint. What is the stage of cancer? Uh, what are the treatment options for that stage of cancer? And then to take that and individualize it for that person and look at their heart and lung function, their age, their other health problems, and make sure that the treatment that we're recommending actually would work for that patient. And a lot of times we do have to adjust our treatment plans Lung cancer patients tend to be a bit older and have a lot of other medical problems. So we try to tailor it in those two ways. Options for treating lung cancer, it all varies tremendously depending on how advanced the cancer is. So the earliest stages of cancers, most often we're gonna recommend an operation to remove the cancer. And for an early stage tumor, that would be the entire treatment. Uh, if it's an early stage tumor, but they're in really relatively poor health, they're wheelchair bound or have oxygen requirements, things like that, then sometimes we'll look at a treatment that uses radiation instead of surgery. And that's something that we would coordinate with our multidisciplinary team of doctors to come up with the best approach. Uh, if it's a more advanced cancer, then it's often a combination of surgery as well as chemotherapy. And the sequence of that could vary depending on the patient or the other circumstances, the size of the tumor, whether there's lymph nodes involved and things like that.